There's still much to be done after Hurricane Maria. There's still thousands of people without power in Puerto Rico, more than a month after the disaster. And tonight, people who took time away from their families here in Jacksonville returned home. And we were there for the special moments. It's been a long month for these local families eagerly waiting for this plane to land. 30 days has been absolutely a long time. It's felt like a long, long time. You guys ready to see Daddy? Yes, sir. For the past month, their loved ones have been hard at work in Puerto Rico. One resident affected by Hurricane Maria posted this video showing just how excited people were to see JEA there to help. Now, it's a different kind of cheering as the families of these 41 linemen and support personnel showed them a warm welcome home. These crew members say they've been changed by what they saw. Given we've done previous storms, the one with Irma and Matthew last year compared to um, what was it? Maria? Maria? I mean, Irma and Matthew is no comparison by far. It's devastating. Yeah. You know, the people there, they're, they're very appreciative to be out of power for such a long time and know they're going to be out for several more months. They're very appreciative and they're grateful for what we've done. And the work isn't over. These 42 JEA workers left for Puerto Rico this morning to do what they can to help over the next 30 days. Now, to give you an idea of the work that they've been doing, JEA says this team that just came back laid 50 miles worth of wire in Puerto Rico. Take a look. That's how many miles it is from Jacksonville to the State Road 206 exit off I-95 in southern St. Johns County. To give you an idea, JEA was able to get its own trucks there with the help of Crowley Maritime, which shipped them a little over a month ago.